text messages that's what it's about today text messages I know I might go on and on about the tourists but they are a negative they are like a necessary evil and the problem that I have with tourists is a lot of them are just pushy rude and arrogant there are good ones though but that's that's why I get off on them some of them are just bad but anyway about text messages today I mean I don't know what it is about track phone but they just seem to have did away with the voicemail I don't know I can't there is no voicemail with the track phone anymore so it's just text I don't usually pick up the phone anymore if somebody calls especially if it's somebody I don't know and even if it is somebody I don't know a lot of times I won't pick up the phone anymore I just don't just the way I am. But if they text, if they just leave a text message then, that's the best way. Keep it short and simple. No long involved conversations, just short and simple, you know. Write some text messages, send them. Somebody called today, another unknown number. It's the third time they've called actually. Four weeks ago, the call log says they called a couple times, and today they called again, but no text message. So I texted them back and asked who it was, and I haven't seen another message from them yet, so I'm waiting. I'm not calling them, just won't do it. But I can remember when I was a teenager, I mean, hell, you were just champing at the old bit I guess that's <laughs> you just couldn't wait to get I just couldn't wait to get a phone call back then I mean ooh, you know there was no cell phones when I was a teenager this was back in the 80s 30 years ago <laughs> but I couldn't wait to answer the phone back then but nowadays I just don't use the phone I just don't talk on the phone Breathing is rough, and I don't know why, but it's rough. I'm not really working. I'm not really working that hard. My breathing has just been rough. I think it's the humidity. Rather than have, I don't know. These are just like incessant ramblings while on the bike. I don't really know what else to call them. These are the things that are on my mind and text messages. As opposed to calling someone, I'd just rather receive a text message, not a call. If they can't text me back, then I'll never speak to them. That's how it works. Back on the old bicycling trail again for the millionth time. We should get track of these times. I think people don't understand. I just think people don't understand how the people watching game goes. You're not supposed to look at me. I mean, if you're people watching, they're not supposed to look at you. They're supposed to just go about their business. Totally 100% oblivious to you watching them. That's how it's supposed to go. <laughs> A lot of the people around here don't seem to realize that. And they look at you while you're looking at them, and I don't get that. You're not supposed to look at me when I'm watching you. That's part of the people watching game. They should learn how to play it. They should not be watching me while I'm watching them. They're supposed to be oblivious to me watching them. If you go to the larger cities, you can watch people, watch them and watch them, and they never look at you. But they probably know you're watching them, but 
they just know how to play the people watching game. You don't look at the people that are watching you. <laughs> I like to just sit on the bench or ride the bicycle and watch people and study them and figure them out. But try to figure them out. But they're not supposed to look at me, but they do. Around here they do, they look at you. It's like, well, you know, that's not how the people watching game is played. That's not how the people watching game is played. When you watch people go by, well, they're supposed to just be oblivious to you watching them. They're not supposed to turn and look at you. That's just how it goes. Now, my breathing is rough. Don't know why. It makes it sound like I'm out of breath all the time, and I'm not really out of breath. It just sounds that way. My breathing is rough. I don't know what's causing it. Probably the humidity, probably a little bit of the heat. Clear, cool, kind of, yeah. Clear, cool mornings that I can get a breath, a lung full of fresh air. Right now it's just a little warm, a little, then getting warmer, and then my breathing goes a little rough and ragged. It's a little difficult to ride one handed like this. You gotta have one hand on the camera and one hand on the bars. And I can't shift. But this is a good section of the bike trail. More or less. It's usually it's not bad through here. I just in the winter time, in the winter time it takes forever for this area to thaw. This area and the other area further up stay cold for a long time. In the winter time, long after the thaw starts, this area and the area further up stay cold and snow stays for a while. Snow and ice, that's what you get. That's what stays around for a while, snow and ice. This time of the year, it's nice. Text only, that's how I look at it. If I leave classified ads on Craigslist or wherever else, I always specify, or I now do specify, text only. Don't just call. Because if they're responding to an ad, person who called earlier, if they are responding to an ad that I put on Craigslist, then they better just text. Because the bottom line is I'm not responding to their call, especially I don't even know who they are. I'll never make this. Someone's riding in the middle of the path. I guess they thought they had the right of way. There's a lot of them like that. He was close to the middle of the path. Probably so was an eye of it, because I got a one-handed shift. But, into the burning, scalding, hot sun. I do appreciate the sun. I like the warmth of the sun and the vitamin D that comes from the sun. Well, sometimes it just bakes you. It's like you're a piece of meat in the oven baking. This old diving horse place still hangs on. The trolley. People can't make up their mind whether they want to get on or get off. Magic Forest. I'm not sure it's magic, but we never went there as a kid because it was always overpriced. My parents never took me to the Magic Forest because it was always a little overpriced. But I guess they have to be to stay in business. And they're still hanging on. 
A lot of those little theme parks have gone out, but that one's still hanging on. It's got to be worth something. Now they looked at that trolley back there. That trolley driver comes close to you sometimes on the road. I don't know what his game is, but... And then today he's got the door open onto the bike path and then closes it and then opens it. I don't know. Maybe someone was just debating on whether or not they get off or not get off. I don't know. Maybe it's the driver himself. Just messing with people. I don't know. Ten minutes has gone by. Still doing this one-handed. Just barely. Well, now it's on flat ground, so it won't matter so much. But that going uphill right there. Or right back there it was a little difficult well, I for God's sakes do people put bags on their handlebars it just makes them unsteady why not just get a rack just put a rack on your bike it's the easiest thing to do is just strap your groceries or whatever onto the rack with bungee cords. This is so simple. Forget that handlebars with bags hanging off them stuff. That's just nonsense. Can't ride like that. It's just too difficult. Even though I got a bag on here. But it seems alright. This bag on the bike, it feels alright. It's like seven pounds. The weight feels good actually. I'm used to it being on there so I don't take it off. almost 12 minutes now this is a good section of the bike path right here all the way from Lake George up to this down through here for the next mile two miles whatever it is this is good riding from Lake George all the way down to Glen Lake and a little bit past Glen Lake but then it just gets onto the road and then you get traffic but this right here is a good section right here. If you're going to come to this area, this is the place you want to come to. Forget the rest of it. <laughs> you want to ride this sucker all the time. Back and forth. Never stop. Get to the end and turn around and come back. And just keep doing it until the point of exhaustion.